Warning, the following video contains strong language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. This is the man who bed, wets his bed at the age of 48. Ukiangalia yuko na pampas, anatembeanga na pampas, natakuwa nikipigia story na yetu yue mambo iko na mna gani. Hello guys, this is Mr. A Lot More and of course A Lot More is coming. They call me Mr. Senior Udaku Reporter. You guys mulenepea jina tamu sana ni kasema ni chukue ni yeke vizuri jina ikue langu. Shanelewa. So, niko maineo flani nikicheki. Niko maineo ya Kenya National Theater. Nimekuja kupigia story na mze. Mze ambaya metoka maineo ya Eldoret. Story yake niliona pale kwenye tuko news ikisema kana kwamba Eldoret gospel singer confesses to bedwetting not wife diapers him every night alafu pale mwisho ikaandikwa nini she is god sent na maanisha huu ni mzee ambaye bado anakojua kwa kitanda at the age of 48 waonyesha na zungumzia nani i'm talking about william getumbe nitakuwa nikipiga story na yeye pole pole bila pressure bila haraka bila ngwere tujue mambo iko namna gani na amepiga luku by the way ni msanii kumbuka na kuwaje mzee hey, ni hapa 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 hey. kwa salama niko salama kabisa hey. vizuri kukuona nashukuru mungu anasaidia yes. nikipenda tukizungumza utaangalia tu kamera watu wa kusikia vizuri so uh, Unaitwa William Getumbe. Wale wale wanakuona maybe for the first time, mtu maybe hajakutana na ile article ya Tuko. Yes. Introduction. You introduce yourself. Uh, naitwa William Getumbe aka Pampas na pia naitwa Fuata Yesu kwa sababu kuna wimbo wangu ambao unajulikana sana Fuata Yesu umefanya na command wa Yesu. Alafu pia Bill Get Records. Mimi na ni, ni owner of Bill Get Records. Sasa hivyo ndio watu wananijua lakini pia wananijua kama baba, kama uh, mzazi na pia wanajua kama pastor, muhubiri, apostle. Yes. Amesema we ni owner of Bill Gates Records. Yes, Bill Gates Records. Meaning you are uh, your music producer. A producer, a musician, an actor, hizo vitu zote. Mm. Creative content creator. Mm. Yes. Fantastic. Mm. Karibu sana kwa hii channel yetu. Tupigie story wanasema wengine juzi niliona wakiniita uh, senior Udaku reporter. <laughs> Now, your senior Udaku reporter yes. amerudi uh, na Uh, another story now yes. bro nikipenda tuzungumze kidogo kuhusu story yako because when i saw it on tuko i was like oh my god this is not happening uh -huh. i mean watu kiangalia zile comments watu wanasema pana uh -huh. hey, hii ni ukweli ngumu kukubali ushaelewa uh -huh. i mean ile hii shida ama hii tatizo ilianza lini 2019 lakini pale nilikuwa mtoto nilikojoa sana mpaka stardi karibu stardi 6 Najua mamangu ni mkikuyu bwana alikuwa ananiwekanga manani samba makofi 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 umeharibu mattress. Na secondary siku kujua ndio hata baadaye siku kujua sana lakini 2019 my friend nikajikuta ninakojoa katika kitanda. Unajua mtoto akiwa mdogo tunamfunga pampas hakuna mtu anauliza. Na kwa sababu hiyo tunaona ni hali ya kawaida lakini mtoto akishafikisha miaka kumi kuendelea juu akuwe youth teenager ama awe adult watu wanaona ni maajabu kuna stigma that is associated na kukojoa kwa kitanda yes so mimi nimejipata na kujoa kwa kitanda na wengi wanauliza kwa nini na ni hali gani ambayo inafanyika nikasema ya kwamba kukojoa kwa kitanda inaweza kuwa ni emotional ni trauma ni hali fulani na kusumbua unaweza kuwa ni mgonjwa unaweza kuwa pia unapitia eh, depression unaweza kuwa pia una, una, uh, kuna hali ya ya, ya inchi vile imekaa saa hizi so kuna vitu tofauti tofauti so mimi ninasumbuka na hiyo kukojoa katika kitanda na ninaisema ili watu wengine wasaidike si ya kwamba ninaisifia kwa sababu kuna shida nyingi zaidi ya kukojoa kwa kitanda lakini tunataka tuiweke uwazi ili hiyo stigmatization nayo iondoke yes Uh, let me take you back na scared na feel tumekimbia sana. Nipeleke nyuma kidogo. Hii shida ilianza aje? Siku ya kwanza ilikuwaje alafu wakuja kukubali aje ilikuwaje you have a wife, you have, yes, you have yes, kids, yes, walichukuliaje? Yes. yes. I was married by the way. Nilikuwa na nimeoa. Uh, sasa si umelala na bibi yako kwa kitanda bwana vizuri dumu umekaa. Alafu unakuta bwana katika kitanda mattress ile kubwa. Unakuta bwana ndio hiyo mambo imefanyika ushako joa. Unajua hujielewi ulilala kisha ukipata pale ushakojoa na ukiangalia panti ushaikojolea so si kukojolea tu mattress lakini pia umekojolea panti 
ishapita ingia imeshaingia katika matrix so inafanyika mara ya kwanza mara ya pili alafu tunasema sasa ili tuweke usafi tutafanya nini ndio tukaamua kwamba eh my wife akiuliza eh ni aje bwana unamwambia hiki tu ilipita unajua kwanza kama ni mlevi utasema ilipita kwa sababu ya ule lakini sasa mimi si mlevi situmii madawa yote ya kulevia sasa ilipitaje eh sikujua ikipita eh sikujua ikipita lakini ilipi kwa sababu kuna exhibit ya kuonyesha ilipi ilipita Yes. Did you maybe go to the hospital kufanya check up kujua shida ni gani? Oh yes, definitely I've gone to several places nimeangaliwa kama niko na prostate cancer, wamesema sina prostate cancer. Unajua prostate cancer is a major cause of kukojoa kwa wanaume ambao ni miaka ime ambao wame ni ada tunasema. Lakini nimeangalia nimeenda katika kuangaliwa na wataluma nimeambiwa huna prostate cancer, unajua? We uko sawa, eh? We si mgonjwa. Uh, wakasema kwamba unaweza tumia madawa madawa lakini pia nimeshauriwa na watu ambao ni wa counseling. Wamesema kwamba we unahitajie kwa counseled maybe by counseling unajua hizi vitu ambazo ulipitia labda kwa mdogo maybe ndio zimerika yes mm. na mke wako alichukuliaje at first unajua ukishaoa eh, dem yangu bwana unajua nikasupu kasupu hivi sasa ukishaoa eh ni kitu ni kitu ni mali ah ni mali ni minji eh ni bubuji ni mnyomnyam ni chumchum sasa anaitwa virginia by the way eh wengi wenu mnawamjua mmeshamuona katika social media sasa yali poona mara ya kwanza eh Hani unajua wanawake wazee ni hani uh, unajaribu eh, eh, lakini tunaandika matrix siku ya kwanza ya pili ah nikamwambia unajua kweli yenyewe hii kitu imefanyika nishakojoa kwa kitanda na hii hali ndio hivyo iko so what do we do because you are married do we break up the marriage hapana lakini yeye ni very understanding she is a very nice woman chocolate sweet sweet ni understand kabisa kaniambia yenyewe tutasaidiana katika hii situation ya kukojoa kwa kitanda na itaenda yes wakati nilikuwa nasoma comments pale kwenye article ya tuko a lot, a lot of people were saying ini ni uongo ni kinsinemo umetengeneza ukapiga zile picha zimetumika pale vitu kama zile what do you have to say about that hey my friend ukitaka sahihi ni kuonyesha si nitakuonyesha niko na pampa eh hey, kama wewe unataka kioko bwana kama unataka nikufungulie ni kuonyesha kwani unafunga kila time undani kuonyeshe si useme tu zoom ni ngoja si usiku peke yake hapana uh, si usiku peke yake hata sahihi nimeweka hapa bwana hii kitu ni ni ya kuchunga maneno si ndio sasa kama unataka ni kuonyeshe na wasiki, watu wanafikiria kwamba i want to zoom i, I want to pimp my song mimi niko na album sita kioko eh ambazo nimezimba mimi ni producer na nini si eti ya kwamba kila kitu ambacho mtu anafanya anataka ku hype song ya produce song unaelewa kama ningelikuwa kuachilia song ningeachilia wakati hiki tukio ina trend bwana so si hivyo na you know most people don't believe unajua kuna watu wajaye ona inzi kioko kuna watu wajaye ona butterfly hata kuna watu wajaye ona cockroach Watu mwenye mnaishi na robi bwana and any village muone vitu zinafanyika kuna mabibi wanakojoa kwa nyumba kuna vijana wanakojoa kwa nyumba kuna hata watu ambao wako high school na wanakojoa and it is stigmatized and that's why i want to share my story ili niwasaidie so si uongo ni kitu real ujanijibu huo unafunga pombas like all the time yes 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 hata sasa hii iko iko ndio hii ndio hii bwana ndio hii iko kama unataka kuona zoom nikutolee uone iko kwa sababu inaweza pita. Na niko katika safari bwana nimekuja na Robi. Sasa ikipita sitaenda katika kiti cha gari na ikienda katika kiti cha gari tutaanza kuongea story gani? Nitaambia nditoe car wash. Sasa unaichunga bwana unaweka unaiweka unaivaa. Yes. So saa zingine si usiku peke yake na si ya kwamba itapita. Nimesema ninaweka precaution. Lakini usiku lazima. Mchana ni precaution. Mchana ni precaution lakini usiku ni lazima. Eh, yeah. usiku ni lazima so that tutuweke bed ikuwe clean na nyumba yetu ikuwe clean. Mtoto wangu kwa sababu namfunga pampa sitaki hata yeye naye aone baba anakojoa. Lakini pia nimeshia na watoto. Nawaambia kwamba I have a girl by the way three years. I have a boy who is one year. Nimeshia nao nikawaambia bwana hii kitu ni watu gani wanavanga. In fact by the way I shared with them very simply. Niuliza mam kwa na kaitanga mam kanaitwa njeri kauliwa njeri ah, ni watu gani wanavanga pampa akaniambia ni yeye <laughs> nikamuuliza na kuna mwingine anavanga akasema hapana nikamwambia sasa unajua kuna watu ambao tofauti tofauti wanavaa pampas kuna watu ambao wanavaa pampas kwa sababu ni wagonjwa kuna wae watu ambao wanavaa pampas kwa sababu umri wao umeenda kuna watu ambao wanavaa pampas kwa sababu ni wadogo kama yeye tofauti tofauti hizo 
So nilimwelezea na akaelewa. So hata nikimuonyesha pampas ya watu wazima ama akutane na pampas ya watu wazima kwa nyumba anaona ni jambo la kawaida. Yes. Before tuonyeshe because umesema ukuwa na moja umevaa. Iko iko iko. Uh, Ningependa kujua watu wa, wa majirani ya neighbors pale nyumbani wanajua? Yes. Majirani wanajua kwa sababu it's something that is made public. Yeah. Unajua kitu ambacho hujaweka public hiyo ndio kitu ambacho kinasumbua. Kina, kina, kina Lakini ambacho umeka public kinasaidia watu wengine kufahamu. Unajua unaweza kuwa unachukua matesi yako na unaweka nje. Matesi unaweka nje. Si watu watajua. Of course I live in Kapsoya na Kapsoya ni mahali ya watu ambao wako well able. Kapsoya ni Eldoret. Eh? Eldoret mahali ambapo standard ya watu iko juu kiasi. So watu watakuuliza eh hey, hii matesi unaikanga kila siku jirani akiangalia eh nimeona nini? Sasa si unajua atasema ya kwamba naonango mkiandika mkiandika hamununui na wanaona pampas pia. So obviously it is a public thing we have put it open. Yes. Kwa sababu ya, ya guidelines za YouTube tutaweza kuonyeshana eh. but tutakupiga tu picha tu alafu tutajua kama tutaweka pale. Haina shida. Hmm. Haina shida, haina shida. Uh, ile ambayo iko kule kwa tuko ni nikifungwa. Lakini hii ni nzuri haina uchi. Eh, haina uchi ati mtu ataogopa aseme ah uko uchi hapana. Kwani watu ambao wako kwa swimming pool bwana wanakuanga uchi na wanakuanga wamezivaa mpaka hapa. Si hata kuna hmm. itoe basi wa, watu waone basi watu waiona hiyo kitu tu hivyo like Yes. Kila time. Natembea hivi kwa sababu ya precautionary purposes lazima nijichunge. Yeah. So si kitu ya kuogopa. And I want to encourage people out there. People are stigmatizing everything. Ukikohoa sahi kwa sababu ya corona wana stigmatize corona ya kwamba we ni mgonjwa. Unaona? So there is that thing ya kwamba kila mtu ana stigmatize everything. So I want to encourage people out there. Tuko sawa hapa? Yes. I want to encourage people out there. You can normalize these things. Unajua by the way ndio usaidike you must accept hali yako. Eh? Lazima uji accept vile ulivyo so that you can move from point to one and you go to point B. Yes. So mimi na encourage watu. And by the way tutafanya mpaka ma road show tutatembea hivi ili watu wajue kwamba you can move from this thing into positivity. So ile negativity yenye watu wanaiweka hapo hapo iondelewe. Iondolee kabisa. Yes. Sawa sawa. So what do you have to say to your uh, people? I want to encourage you out there. Mimi ni pastor. Mimi ninaongea eh? Na mimi ni mwimbaji. Mimi ni producer. Mimi ni mzazi. I am encouraging everybody out there to be positive about their situation. Number one, on your situation, vile ulivyo, jikubali. Jikubali. Ukishajikubali, now you move from point 1 to B looking for health. Unajua wengine wanafikiria kwamba we want to make millions out of it. There is no millions you make out of a certain challenge that you have in life. Lakini you can change people's lives. You can modify people's behavior by using your challenge and sharing it out. Ili mtu aone kwamba kweli hata yangu si kitu. Naweza toka kwa hii situation mpaka hiyo nyingine. Na nipate kusaidika ama niishi hata kama uwezi pona. Unajua kuna watu ambao waliombea na Yesu na wakupona. And even when you go to church some people I prayed for and they don't get healed. How do you live? Living positively with your situation. Yes. Sawa, sawa. Watu wanasema maybe ni uongo zungumza nao. Bwana, si kila kitu ambacho ni uongo na si kila kitu ambacho tuna hype. Vitu zingine ni wanaita clouds. <laughs> wanaita clouds. <laughs> At this is cloud chasing. Si cloud chasing, it is reality. Na hata kuna watu, even the Bible kuna mwanamke ali, alikuwa na issue ya damu na anatembea kila mahali. Eh? Hiyo tungeitaje? Kama kama tunaita e cloud chasing, then the things in the Bible watasema ya kwamba ni cloud chasing. So me my thing is this, eh? na nataka niwaambie hivi. There are many challenges. Tembea ujue watu wako na challenges. And listen to people's stories, na utajua kwamba watu wako na challenges. Na ukishajua kuna challenges, you'll be able also to overcome your challenges. Lakini ukiassume ya kwamba these people don't go through these things. If you do not know that these things are normal, watu wanapitia, then it becomes a challenge to everything. Hata hizi itakuwa challenge. Eh, hey. sawa sawa. Hivi una miaka mingapi? Mimi 48. 48 years. 48. 
So you, you wet your bed at 48? 48 years bed wetting. Yes. Fantastic. So guys, we are going to story na William Getumbe, right? Yes, All William the... Getumbe, a.k.a. Fuata Yesu, a.k.a. Bill Get Records, a.k.a. Pampas. So we are going to say that. Yes, a.k.a. Pampas. Thank you so much guys for watching. Mambo ne mengi, muda ne mshache. They call me Mr. Senior Udako Reporter for now. Sa bye bye.